All right, part two, finish peeing. Uh, now this section is gonna be my kind of picks of discussion topics. Mm -hmm. All right, not we're gonna start. your favorite. Not necessarily my favorite, although in this case, I do like all my songs. Mm -hmm. um, I think you kind of took a hit in your section for the more conversational ones. Yeah, you um, can't always pick the songs you like. Uh, I did this time. Ha ha! Um, now the first song that I wanna talk about is actually the uh, second Station song. Mm -hmm. um, if you're not familiar, Station is SM's weekly, except for <laughs> the second week of release. Lunar New Year. Except for the odd timing of Lunar New Year. Uh, but every Wednesday, or Thursday, I forget which day, uh, every week, they will release one song. The first mm -hmm. one, of course, was Taeyong's Rain. Yep. Uh, this one is the second one. It's by Yu Yong Jin and Dio from EXO with their song, Tell Me. I was listening to that song the other day, and I'm like, man, people in K-pop couldn't sing back then. <laughs> like, man, yeah. the voice. I mean, one of my favorite songs of all time, but good gosh, the singing is not good. Good gosh, good it's Bowie. But you know what is good singing? This song. Yes. I, I don't really, you know, we both, you know, as a lot of iTunes review says, we're very girl group centric. Because mm -hmm. naturally, you know, we're boys, yeah. um, and we're focused more on girl groups. So I don't know that much about EXO. Uh, I've heard a lot of the EXO, all of the EXO songs, right? Mm -hmm. um, and I know they can sing, yeah. right? Um, and, and you kind of hear it more in their like winter ballad -y kind of yeah. songs, but like this is the yeah. first time I, I've heard this Dio guy and I was like, Ooh! oh, really? Oh, oh really? Uh, yeah. I, I, I don't think he pops off in, in the yeah. normal EXO. So uh, I'm not necessarily an EXO fan, but I do know among EXO members, Dio is one of the main vocals. That do, I do know because mm -hmm. he actually does kind of sing on a lot of uh, ballads as well. Mm -hmm. A lot of OSTs mm -hmm. I find him singing. So um, I'm not too surprised, but I was expecting something different mm -hmm. than what we got. So yeah, so this song is like like the closest SM I think has ever gotten in the recent years yeah. of, of a, like a baby making song. Yeah. Like a slow jam, I'm a sex trip, you know, kind of song. Um, and I think uh, Yu, Yu Young Jang is is like a longtime producer for SM. Yeah. He produced music uh, uh, all Literally the way back from ago. like HOT yeah. and SES, you know, all the way to Super Junior to XO. Like he's been around for quite Not some 10 years, time. decades ago. Is yeah. what I wanted to say. I was <laughs> he's like, been around. Years ago? He's been around. Uh, he, he hasn't he's been around for decades. He hasn't made like the super smash hits mm -hmm. recently, but um, he's a longtime SM producer. Yeah. Um, and you know, hearing his voice and Dio's voice, like I was, I really was legitimately like, man, I was into it, right? Yeah. Yeah. So when I first heard the song, uh, Stephen and I kind of do like a 
a, a kind of a warm up and we kind of just preview the songs and such. When I first heard this song, um, even though I knew it was the SM Station song, I had to like double think. I was like, oh, who sings this again? Mm. Oh no, oh, it was the SM Station song that Dio was singing in. And like that tells me that this stage, whole station thing, I think is going to be a more creative outlet mm. for SM to kind of push things that they're not necessarily famous for. Mm -hmm. um, SM, Ex except for Taeyeon. Except for Taeyeon, <laughs> right. Um, but when I heard this song, I was like, yeah, SM, if you're gonna if you're gonna release songs like this, give me some more of this. Yeah. Like it is definitely uh, my style of song, and Steven really enjoys it as well. Mm -hmm. As Steven says, it's very baby making music. Uh, it's it really shows off kind of just vocal chops, just vocal ability of uh, Yoon Young Jin, the producer. Uh, he's a great singer as well, and Dio, who's also a great singer. And I think their voices are similar, but they kind of do match a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and, and, you know, it's a little bit more of a, a poppy, you know, baby-making song and not like a hip-hoppy yeah, baby-making song. It. But I yeah, um, the music video is effectively a, a PowerPoint slideshow of, of yeah. images. The, the music video is um, not worth watching. Yeah. Um, but the song, though. Yeah, song's pretty good. Like, uh, the third station song, which we're not going to talk about, but mm -hmm. it's a song by uh, Yumi, Yumi, Yumi Rei. Um, and that was weird, because A, she has nothing to do with SM ever. Yeah. Um, I, I, I remember, I, I read a comment, but I didn't know if that was 100% true. <laughs> yeah, it's Yumi Rei and a ballad. And, and if you don't know who she is, like, she's... Tiger like, JK's wife, Tiger, she's a rapper. She's a rapper, rapper, but she's like from america and she raps got, like the 90s voice. school rap but she's got a good voice i do have to say true mm -hmm. true um but usually you when you think of her you think rapping and you think a very specific style mm -hmm. style of rapping um but yeah she but she has no affiliation i think i read according to a random internet comment that like the producer is, is it was sm mm -hmm. and they needed someone to sing, sing it, it and they they called it Amy Ray. Amy Ray, i guess mm -hmm. Um, but as you said, like if this is their station thing, like we were a little bit worried because we were like, the what first one's release? Taeyeon, right? Like yeah. that's a big, big name thing. Like, are they just gonna fold in their big releases into this station thing? And like they yeah. did it. They could have put uh, Taemin as a station. He had two but, songs that he released. Yeah, I, both, either of them could have been on the station. Right? Yeah, but but they didn't. So like that's kind of cool. Like we, I thought it was just going to be like their normal releases kind of yeah. put together, which is still cool. Yeah. Like it's still cool. Mixed with some B-sides, but like this yeah. seems so far, at least three weeks in, yeah. that like aside from the Taeyeon thing, they've like, got a good mix of really, songs. Yeah, yeah they're, they're really trying. Yeah. They're really trying some new yeah. things. Yeah, SM Station, when I first heard about it, I thought it was going to be one, uh, like you said, their main release is going to be mixed into there. Yeah. Uh, two, a lot of their OSTs or like kind of mm. what their SM artists are like doing. Doing like in the side, the side, side, the side trip, SM, what I call side, side projects yeah. and the third one will be like you know Rando whatever D -sides. whatever whatever older kind of more popular artist who wants to put out a single or something or mm -hmm. kind of you know like Junghyun from Shiny he kind of produces for a while like mm -hmm. I thought it was going to be like okay SM artists as producers with some other yeah. singer and so far we've got a lot of everything to be yeah. honest it, it, it does kind of fit with what I said, but um, they are surprising me in what they're releasing. And this song definitely surprised me um, about what a producer one who kind of, like we said earlier, is stepping up to start singing. Yep. And two, like Dio, I do know he has a good voice, but I didn't know he had this... Or even just sound. like this type of song. Yeah. Right? Like this kind we of don't sound. hear this type of song from SM like ever, ever. Yeah. Um, so I'm pretty excited. You know, hopefully the future brings more like collaborations. Uh, hopefully more out of yeah. um out of studio collaborations. Yeah. Like a you know, again, like it'll never happen in a million years, but you know, a YG uh SM SM one would be yeah. cool. Like I know JYP did one with uh Suzy and Baekhyun, but mm -hmm. like and that song was huge in, that song in Korea. Was big, that yeah. song was big. I thought it was really boring and the most generic collaboration I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, but um, that but like, goes to show people want to see collaborations. Though. Yeah, yeah, like it could be beneficial, like uh, I, or you know, just cool things or even cross group things. You know, like yeah. give us some, some, some cool shit. Yeah, you know? because we know for. we know for a fact 
that a lot of members from one company will be good friends of the members of another company, right? Like a lot of uh, members from... I don't like, know who's actually friends with anybody. In like Girls' Generation are really close with like members of Sistar and like JYP. Like, like Min is really close with a lot of SM artists as well. I, I yeah. mean, I think because she's an American, I think she's yeah. she's close with the other Americans, like yeah. Amber, or, or yeah. Canadians, or, you know, whatever. Yeah. English speakers. English speakers. You know. uh, nah, they're all from America, because America number one. <laughs> China number four. China number four. <laughs> Taiwan number two. Okay. Um, <laughs> if you don't know what that's a reference to, just Google Taiwan. Or China number, number four, four, or Taiwan number two. I, I don't know what you should Google. Uh, the next song that I want to talk about... Is by a girl group. You know we we bias on those girl groups, but we talk a lot about the girls girl groups. Yeah, I I try to put in more boy groups, and we just I just couldn't. I just couldn't. Do it. I just couldn't. Do it. Uh, but this one is uh, by a, actually a group that's been around for a very long time. Yeah. Um, and that is a Rainbow with their song Woo. And they're a group that uh -huh. they've been a while. They've been around, but like they've For never. A good of time. Yeah, they've never. They've always been like mid tier. They've never really like been so popular, and they've never really been like so nugu. Yeah, like yeah. I, I still kind of think their most famous song was their first song. Yeah. Um, but um, I remember watching Rainbow's A, you know, five years ago or four years ago, and and I was like, this was like. That was like before, that was still when like everything was all kind of cutesy and That's I was right. like, man, these girls are like raising up their shirts like hot damn. And then nowadays <laughs> well, that was, we have that like stellar it, it was the one with the, with the lifting of yeah, the shirt. Lifting up the, yeah. Ah, I remember uh, that. I remember that. I was like. I wonder why. I remember, I I remember that. Um, but Rainbow hasn't been that active recently. I think no. they, only, they only released Black Swan last year, mm -hmm. which didn't do that great. It, it, was, uh, in, it was kind of like a Colts cult hit yeah. yeah i know some people liked it I, neither of us particularly liked mm -hmm. it um the year before that if i remember correctly they did rainbow blacks yeah with cha-cha which cha-cha I mean, cha-cha cha-cha which also didn't uh, chart too high um it's kind of middle of the road didn't do well. bad yeah. i i think i i can't i don't know the exact numbers but they just haven't been around for a while uh before Ra uh, rainbow blacks cha-cha there was like Two songs, I think, Tell Me, Tell Me, and, and one yeah. other song that, like, I actually really enjoyed at the time. I think I was doing the podcast with Kelvin, mm -hmm. and Kelvin was like, this is not Hot my garbage. thing. Yeah. But, like, I kind of enjoyed it. And, and, and I went back and listened to those songs, and I'm like, I kind of enjoy them. And this song is, again, very much like that. Like, mm -hmm. it, it, it's it's not the greatest song in the world, but, like, it's got I kind of enjoy it. I'm with you on that. In It's not really a song that I necessarily enjoy, but it has so many... Uh, elements which uh, attribute to catchiness in a song, at least for me. Yeah. Um, I like a lot of kind of not nonsensical, like just not 
garbage kind of words, but just non... Yeah, we like the like doopy, auto, doopy like, doos. Yeah, doopy doos, like, like onomatopoeia those. kind of-ish words, like doopy doos, hey hey's, or mm -hmm. woo, or a uh, ah ah's kind of sounds. Mm -hmm. um, clapping. Love uh, clapping. Clapping, I love clapping. Uh, a good bass line, right? Mm -hmm. And a little bit kind of like ascending or descending, like woo-hoo-hoo, -hoo, or like a doo-doo-doo kind of sound, right? Yep. And this song has... All of them. It has all. It has yeah. all of them. It, and it's kind of like you might think we're describing a brave sound style song when you said all that stuff, mm -hmm. but like it, it doesn't sound anything like a brave sound. No. It's it sounds like like a kind of like a pop rocky. It has like this like pop rock kind of backing feel yeah. to it, where like it's one of those where you just stand and you're just clapping along yeah. with them. Um, kind of like a cheerleader, like yeah, I mean like a rock, not like the twice cheerleader part, but no. like. Uh, it, it, for me, it just reminds me of like kind of like older pop rock, um, yeah. and I don't know. I I, I just enjoy it. Uh, yeah. I I read a lot of things that were like I don't really like this. I don't yeah. really like this. I don't really like this. And I just I personally I just don't understand. Like I think this song is, you know, in an era where. Where it, we're either going old back to old school, right? Yeah. Like the the a lot of retro song, friend, lovely, yeah. right? We're either going back old school or, or even we're older. going older, even older, or we're going like four minute, like we gonna try EDM, right? Like yeah. um, where or we're going to the uh, build up, build up, build up, drop, say the name, name of the, the song, song, right? Like <laughs> ding, 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 ding. yeah, like this song was just kind of like maybe not a breath of fresh air, but like in as of right now in this time, it's very different than what songs are out right now. Yeah. 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 Um, now I know a lot of people had some bad things to say about the music video, especially, yeah. um, I liked the music video. Like, like, yeah, it's kind of a cheap music video, mm -hmm. but like, you know, I don't want to hate on Taman that much this episode, but like that just pops into my head, which is like Taman's music videos Must look great. A good amount of money. They look oh, great. Yeah. They, but they oh, look yeah. like they cost a lot, like a lot of money. Yep. And a, but a shiny penny, a shiny, penny. It's, you know, one is like they're in a drone, like in in like in a desert, like with beautiful scenery, and like he's it's like a. He's got like backup, like you know, like Ameri American, like backup da American backup dancers, dancers and right. like they're singing. And the other one is like one of those like multiple storyline, lots of sets, outdoor mm -hmm. moving around. Like, like it must have been a pain to storyboard, you know. Like oh, it's probably a pain because it makes no sense. Um, he didn't know what the fuck he was doing. Um, <laughs> but like that looks like it spends money, like a lot of money, but I got zero enjoyment from those mm. from those from those music mm. videos, right? I would have gotten so much enjoyment if the Taman kind of video that we were talking about, the one with the drones, was just him dancing. If it was just yeah. him dancing, I think I would have enjoyed it a good amount. Of it. Yeah. Uh, this song is essentially kind of what I want from that video, is that they're just kind of dancing and like doing really weird things. Mm. And these, those weird things are very reminiscent of a kind of music video producer that Steven and I kind of have a, not a hard on for, but we kind of like the stuff he does. Uh, we're really big fans of DigiPetty. Mm -hmm. And DigiPetty, they're very known for their bright colors. Mm -hmm. Kind of a little bit uh, ridiculous. I wouldn't say ridiculous, but kind of strange prop usage. Yeah. Yeah. And just overall pastels. Like you'll you'll know we've talked yeah. about DigiPetty a lot. Like you know EXID's videos are have been a lot of DigiPetty. Like yeah. probably about half the music videos that aren't one of the major three labels are yeah. DigiPetty videos. Yeah. Um. And, and I understand it's kind of like that brave sound thing where it's like well once everybody does it it's not that new anymore yeah. or it's not that exciting it's kind of boring but like I like DigiPetty videos like, I think they do a very very good job of like minimal like set like minimal amount of money mm -hmm. and making it uh, what otherwise could have been a very boring ass video making it look and making it feel like um a little bit more cheerful a little bit, a little more, bit more interesting fun, yeah. a little bit more interesting and like for a group named rainbow like uh, this plays very very well into their name like every girl has a different color which i know they've done before yeah. um, but every girl has a different color and there's a lot of color like things in the music video and i think it's really cool um i don't know 100 percent it is digipetty but it's if, very reminiscent it's not, of not then someone should sue them because like yeah. they they it's stole very a lot of it, style yeah right they someone needs to react yeah. sue them yeah um so all in all this package is kind of like a bright 
cheerful, catchy song slash music video. And if you're down with that, then you should check this out. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you know, if, if you've only heard a rainbow song from the last two or three years, like this is a more original kind more of more original rainbow. three, four, five, five years ago, rainbow, yeah. um, which, you know, if you heard is not black, black, black swan, nothing like that. Absolutely not. Yeah. Um, but anyways, now it's time where we want to thank all the people, all the non-mindless robots Yay, for watching and listening people. to our podcast. And uh, the last two episodes, we didn't have any iTunes reviews right, to buddy. talk about, but we do now. It's all right, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Now, I do think I recognize some of these names. So I, I, I kind do. of think this some of them, person? this is like his second one. But I didn't actually know you could make multiple iTunes reviews, but... Uh, I, I, I recognize this name from somewhere. Yeah. This name definitely looks familiar. But I don't care. So we want to read this, uh, read some iTunes reviews. The first one is by Justin7Blaine. 100% recognize that. Yep. Now the review is titled, uh, Please Don't, or Do, or Don't, don't. No, 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 Don't, don't. But, but Like, like maybe. maybe, No, No, no. no. Cream, Cream on, on me. me. And that, of course, shout outs to our last episode. Uh, he, he's, I assume it's a he, says, I really would like to write a super long review about everything that is great about y'all and this podcast, uh, about y'all and this podcast, but I'm in the midst of studying for an exam in nursing school about reproduction, so my mind is all kinds of fuzzy at this point. Thanks, y'all, for the great content. Um, a, I hope your exam went well. Yeah, I hope, I hope everything is going great in nursing school. I actually have a few nursing school friends, and it is not easy. Yeah, not I easy. could never do that. Not um, easy. I do, you know, show, you know, tell us some interesting facts about reproduction, you know? Yeah. Some tips, you know. Some, you know, well, yeah. some tips. Some, what, some what, tips about what should we not be or doing? Not reproducing. Yeah, where does we the, should be mindful of. Where does the cream go? Where does the cream go? Tell us that, Justin. Um, uh, read the next one, Josh, please. All right, so the next one is from Leo Matt Lag. Uh, he or she says, I think he, uh, it's really refreshing to get analysis on K pop latest releases from people who are not in fandoms and just give an honest opinion. I've listened to every other K-pop podcast in English out there and I think this is by far the best one. Thank oh, you. Shucks. Thank you. They are a little biased towards girl groups. Nah. We yes. won't deny that. 100%. And that they could do some more research on the videos and artists before the show. Yeah, we yeah, have we really could. bad memories. Yeah. But overall, this is a cool listen. A good listen. And worth subscribing to. We're not Thank a good you, listen. Leo. He doesn't think we're a good listen. He thinks we're, we're a, a cool, cool listen. listen. Uh, I um, mean, that's fine too, I guess. Yeah, I'm good with that. Thanks so yeah. much, Leo Matlag, for leaving uh, that review. Again, uh, I mainly check the um, American iTunes store mm -hmm. because that's just what I'm, I'm, I'm on. So if you leave a review on another country's uh, uh, iTunes account, just message me, message me on Twitter, you know, or email us. This week in Kpop at gmail.com. Uh, wait, what's my Twitter? It's Twick Steven, Steven and your Twick, Twick Josh. Josh yeah. And uh, together we're This Week in Kpop. But uh, yeah, we're going to have uh, two more to read in part three. But mm. um, thank you so much. Uh, we also want to uh, kind of remind you guys, if you're an audio listener, that uh, we did start a new series called the yeah. Kpop Weekly Update, yeah. which is like kind of a mini condensed. Uh, version of our podcast mm -hmm. every single yeah. week or mostly every single week less opinion more fact yeah you yeah. know if you just want to know what's come out that week and, and you don't have time uh uh to, to check all the websites or you know maybe you go to essentialkpop.com you just want to see our faces talk about it you know tell you guys the more important ones or our sweet dance moves or our sweet dance <laughs> moves you know check us out on youtube yeah uh, it's called the k-pop weekly update yeah on our youtube channel this week in k-pop Yar. All right, moving on uh, to a boy group. What? You heard it here first. What? A boy group. Uh, the best, absolute, perfect boy group. <laughs> Is that so? Yeah. Could that not be? really. I don't. I don't really believe that. But uh, well, that was a little negative. All right. Very negative. I mean, you can't call yourself the best, best absolute, absolute perfect. perfect. Okay. Like that's those just, are three superlatives. Yeah, those are. That's like the extreme, right? They should be like. Okay, to, we're, we're decent, you know, not best, absolutely perfect, but uh, this is, of course, BAP with their song, Feel Good. Baby, 
아니면 어떤 애일까 에이요 화려하진 않노 베이비 그런데 왜 덧빛이 나는 걸까 에어니 목소린 달콤한 젤리 같아 계속 그 속에 맴돌아 찾아가 늘 너를 갖고 싶어 베이비 생각하면 기분이 좋은 건 왜일까 너의 향기 모두 띄었어 Now, BAP has some issues last year. Yeah. Uh, a lot of issues with the company and all that. Yeah, um, people were not sure if they were going to come back. And then they finally came back a couple months ago with a song that I, speaking of research, I honestly don't remember what the name of that song is because it was not great. <laughs> I, yeah, I Do you know. remember the name no, of that? I don't know. No, you don't. Um, now, even Mina, who is like yeah. self- you know, Wonder Girls She's was my baby. first love, right? Yeah. BAP, I think, was her first yeah, fandom I'm a, love. I'm a someone. You're a, a wonderful. I don't know. I don't even know what it's called. And Mina, uh, who comes in and out of our podcast, she's a baby. Yeah. Even I she, don't think she even will know. Yeah. She really didn't enjoy that last song. But this song, all right, this song, if you think, you know, if you're, you hear the word BAP and you think the uh, I'm hard style, right? Mm-hmm. If you think the like, uh-huh style. Tough. I'm rough and tough. I'm rough, tough stuff. I'm rough and tough stuff. Um, if you think that, well, this song is the complete opposite. Throw all the spots into the garbage or out the window or wherever yeah. you throw. Just not good not things. Good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, no, no, BMP actually have done this. Like they yeah. usually have like a hard song, and then they usually have a very cutesy song. Yeah, a little um, softer. And this one is 100% the cutesy cutesy. The soft. It's, well, that would have been 100%. Maybe ninety percent, because there is yeah. a lot of rap in this song. Yeah, they are best, thing. absolute yeah. perfect. They they still got a rap. They got a um, ripping rap. But you know, they're one Zello even has like glitter, glitter in his glitter, hair. Glitter glue. Like, I don't know what it is in his hair. Oh so my god! Completely not hard. Um, it's so so soft. So 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 soft. Um, but you know, we uh when we first watched this video, like we really didn't like it. Yeah. Like, and that's partially because I think the expectations of what we think yeah. BAP is on I, it. I I hundred percent think it is the expectations because um, BAP they are known for a certain style. And we watched this for like oh no oh no yeah. and it really just kind of was contrasting to what we were really yeah. believing. Yeah, like I've liked some of BAP's like cutesier more pop ballad stuff mm-hmm. right but this one specifically is like really like it's been a while since we've seen BAP right yeah. but like this one was like really really just sugary right mm. there was so much sugar on screen like from their clothing to the way they're acting yeah. to the glitter in their hair right it was just I, it was just too sugary yeah. at first so we both dismissed this song completely yeah. when we made the update but since like the update <laughs> yeah so since the update, I listened to the song a couple more yeah. times. Same. I, Josh listened to the song a couple yeah, more times. Same. And like, once divorced from that expectation of like what we think BAP is, like, this is a this good song. This song is not bad. This is a good song. I would go as far to say this is a good song. I feel like it has a good amount of catchiness in it. Um, and the rap portions of it aren't really great, but they don't deter from the song. And I think overall, the song has enough catchiness for me to kind of be like, yeah, I, f- I feel the song. I'm digging it. You know? Okay. I mean, it, again, like our words are, aren't always the same, but yeah. like the idea of like, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm good with that. Like, I agree with that. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm not going to say that's good. Okay. Uh, but like, you know, this is one of those songs where like the chorus really saves the song. Mm-hmm. I think the rapping is kind of boring and not particularly like noteworthy but then the chorus comes in and you're like okay all right feels so good and you're like okay right mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. it saves the song a little bit um and mm-hmm, yeah mm-hmm, definitely mm-hmm. gonna download the song mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. um definitely kind of it, it's 
it's still weird to to see BAP like this, you know, like yeah, because in in our heads, BAP is still the group that debuted, right? They're mm-hmm. still that the warrior, like you know, yeah. we 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 hard, and yeah. it's just so weird seeing them like yeah. Especially so, uh, their comeback song was was kind of more back to serious like yeah it was a little bit more BAP. serious kind of song yeah um, but it's just, but yeah it's as in whole it's just strange to see two such contrasting styles yeah but that is very prevalent in K-pop and if you can divorce your mind from like oh BAP's older songs yeah um then you can definitely appreciate this song. I think it's much better not watching the video. I mean, unless you're a BAP fan, you really want to yeah. see them, but like... Yeah. I uh, mean, granted, the video does have a lot of elements that we consider like good in a music video. Like it's, it's got a lot of color, they're dancing, and you know, they're doing a lot of those kind of things. But it's just, I think, uh, just too too much for me. Um, yeah. yeah. Too sugary. You know, when yeah. I have too much sugar, my nose bleeds. And so when I'm and when I watch this, well, it's he eats a chocolate. Nosebleed. His nosebleeds. Yeah, it does. And he eats chocolate. It his sucks. Nosebleeds. I don't know why. Maybe some blood pressure. I'm gonna die soon. I don't know. But uh-huh. since I was a kid, uh, it's always happened. So, BAP a little, a little too much chocolate. A little too much chocolate. You know. Maybe we need that dark chocolate. You know. I act, I don't like dark chocolate. You like dark chocolate? I don't like dark chocolate. Like I know I it's like healthier, dark, but I like, like dark chocolate covered things. Like okay. Dark chocolate yeah. covered raisins. Dark okay. co- chocolate covered like coffee beans. Okay. Um, but cherries. just dark chocolate? Just eating no. dark chocolate by itself is a little bit difficult for me, yeah. And then there's like dark chocolate, and then there's like dark chocolate. cacao yeah. dark chocolate. And no, uh, I'm not down with that. No, I'm not down with that. Um, all right, well, last song in my section that I want to talk about. It's a girl group. We're going back to girls. What? All right. A brand new girl group because we need more of those. Mm-hmm. Um, and this group is uh, partially, uh, it's like... Two companies coming together. One mm-hmm. is Starship, which of course is like Sistar's collaboration. And one is a Chinese company. Don't remember the name, but uh, half this group is is Korean, half is Chinese, Chinese as every group nowadays, nowadays are. Yeah. Um, and this girl group is called the Cosmic Girls with their song Mo Mo Mo. WSJN, is that right? I think so. Yeah, I don't know what that's It's probably because of the, the, you know, like TVXQ yeah. or, you know, DVSK or some, something. Um, but anyways, Cosmic Girls, they're relatively noteworthy because it, it's one of those big groups. They got 12 members. There's a lot of members. Um, I think there was a little bit of hype, you know, building up. I know what WJS stands for. It stands for... Uh, we... Wait, wait, let me guess. We just... Sex now. <laughs> no, no, no. It's, it's, it's the uh, English romanization of their Korean name, mm. which is Uju, which is universe mm. or like kind of Cosmic. space. Yeah. Uju Sonyo. Mm. Sonyo is just girl. girl. Yeah. So Uju Sonyo, mm. probably. 
I mean, it makes Cosmic sense, right? Cost. I mean, that's SNSD. That's why they're called SNSD, SNSD right? Yeah. And, and DBSK and all that junk. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, you, uh, what was I even saying? Oh, yeah. So Cosmic Girls. They got 12 members. 12 members. Um, uh, one of them, nobody cares except for me. But oh, last episode, we <laughs> talked about uh, a Yu Song Woo. Yeah. Music video, and there's a really cute girl in that. Turns out that girl's in this group. Yeah, and, hey. and the thing is, Steven called it when we were watching this video in like our kind of preparation for yeah. it. Uh, he's like, That girl, I've seen her from somewhere. Is that the girl from the Wu Wu video? I was like, Josh is like, Shut the fuck up. I was, no like, I was like, What the hell are you talking about, Steven? <laughs> I was like, Come on, yourself. And then later on, he looked it up. I looked it up. Shablammy, it is. Shabo Shaboyka, I got gotcha. you. Shaboykin. It I is. got it. So, uh, anyways, uh, so this song, um, so so let me put it in context, I, yeah, because everything is about context, right? So I lo you load up this YouTube video. It's got it's got its fair share of downloads, mm -hmm. much more than a normal video, uh, uh, you know, K-pop video has. And I'm like, oh boy, this is either gonna be really bad or some random sex shit is gonna happen. You know yeah. what's going on? Usually, YouTube videos get downvoted for a few a uh, few select reasons. Yeah, yeah. So I'm expecting that you know whatever. And I'm listening to the song. I'm watching the video, video, and I'm like, this is pretty dang good. Like, what's wrong with this? Like, like it's not the greatest song in the world. No, definitely right? not. But like, I've heard way worse way, debuts in my life. Way worse. It's a pretty high kind of quality release for a debut as well. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's Starship, right? They got some money. China, yeah. China's got money, China's right? China's always got money. They got some money. But, like, I think they, they had 12 girls. I thought they showed off a, a choreography, like, decent enough for 12 girls, right? Mm -hmm. Like, um, you know, twice as somewhere close to that. And twice as, I think, uh, a better, better job. job. Better but, job. like, I think they did a, a decent, you know, okay job. Um, and I don't know. Like, I thought... The song itself is mm -hmm. pretty catchy. It's decently it, catchy, yeah. It sounds very, very similar to another song that I was like, Josh, it sounds exactly like this, exactly like this, exactly like this. And he's like, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. It took us like a whole day to figure out that it sounded well, like... We found it out. What we did it sound like? It we found it out. What was it, Josh? Um, it is actually a part of the chorus kind of ascends in notes. And Steven kept, kept, kept singing, singing it over it. and over and over. I kept singing it. And I was like... Is it this song? Steven looked it up. It wasn't. He was like, how about this song? I'm like, it is that song. And that song was Girls' Generation's Hoot. But yeah. It's the trouble, trouble, trouble part. Yeah. That, that like three note ascension. Yeah. Um, it's very prevalent in this song. So this one, like, so, you know, I had mentioned like the, the winner song that mm -hmm. sounded very much like... G Dragons that XX mm -hmm. and and I did go back to those two songs and I was listening to them back and forth and like they do sound they sound, similar but I I think I agree with one of the comments which was like it's way more about the type of song mm -hmm. than those songs sounding yeah, similar yeah I agree with that um uh but this song I think is like those that notes that is the same those man. notes are taken from this song that is the same put it in there and again I look through all the comments and nobody mentions that. Like, but there's nobody. a lot of hate. I don't there's a lot of hate in the comments. Well, tell me if I'm crazy, if you don't think... You're crazy. Go listen to Hoot, <laughs> listen to this song. But I think despite that, right? Despite that, I thought it was pretty good. Yeah, um, it had a good amount of catchiness. Um, for me, it kind of sounded too synthy mm. uh, for me to really get into it. Um, it's not a bad song, but not it a It is a very synthy song. song. Yeah, it's one of those songs that if I heard it on the street, I'd be like, oh, this song's not bad. But I'm not gonna go out of my way to listen to it. Mm. Yeah, like I can still hear it in my head, which again, if I can do that, mm -hmm. that's pretty rare, you mm -hmm. know. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I I can fully understand like some people saying like, well, what's special about it? Um, I, I can kind of agree, but I don't think it, something deserves a downvote because what's special about it? Because eighty percent of the groups that I listen to has nothing special about it. Yeah. Like, like when you know. When Lovelies came out, I was like, I enjoyed those songs a lot, mm -hmm. but like, what was special about it? I don't know, you know. Uh, G Friend actually, you know, what was special about G Friend was their choreography. Okay, I yeah. thought, like, but th their song itself, I don't think it was that special, yeah. right? Now, now G Friend is like number one, bang bang, like they doing freaking good. Um, but yeah, like I can say that for like ninety percent of the boy groups that ever come across our table, it's like I what's mean, special about it. I right? mean, that is K-pop in a nutshell. A lot of groups are copying trends from like another group, yeah, you and do you go, "Oh, what's, what's special about yeah. that?" Because there, there isn't anything special. They're doing what is popular, yeah. and 
I think this girl group is getting so much shit because they're trying to just do what's popular. But but I think they didn't. Like I think they they could have went G friend full G friend, but they didn't full Lovelies route. Yeah, they didn't go full schoolgirl way, right? Mm -hmm. They didn't go full uh, you know the opposite way, right? With with the more you know hip hoppy EDM mm -hmm. style, right? Like they there's they're kind of in the middle, and I don't know. I, they Maybe definitely I'm crazy. don't deserve that hate. Um, I mean, no. Or they, it's just rando YouTube hate. I mean, I'm, no. I yeah, no K-pop group really deserves that hate because some do if they suck. <laughs> I mean, I don't. I don't really hate on any group because there. A lot of times you'll have like a group who have really talented members or are really known for something, but just because their company wants them to pursue a different sound or a different kind of look, they have no choice. Yeah, but yeah. I'm not calling the end. Like that's the one thing that we talk about every so often, which is mm -hmm. like when we say something sucks, we don't say we don't mean the person, person sucks. sucks. We don't mean we're saying the package. The package sucks, the package right? Sucks. Whether the package is the publisher's fault, or the producer's fault, fault, or the singing singer's fault, it could be choreographer's part. Like mm -hmm. who? It could be everybody's fault. It could be just one of their faults. Yeah. But but like a lot of people feel like it's like personally insulting to say we. We don't like something. Yeah. It's like, all right. But yeah. this group, I don't think deserves any of that. There's yeah, nothing. I, there's nothing really wrong with the with like I think any of them. I'm gonna download this song. Saying. Right. I'm gonna download yeah. this song. Like I'm gonna look for. I did hear like a teaser for their next song, and their next song is like kind of hip hoppy, and it it, it was really Might strange. Hate on that. It was really <laughs> strange. Might hate on um, that. But you know, they're, I think they're gonna release a music video soon, so I'm sure you'll hear it on the next episode, if not the one yeah. after that. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for my section. Hopefully it, it wasn't too girly. Um, but, uh, the next one will be Josh's and he's got a lot more dudes, way more dudes. So if you want some dudes, click on part three, baby. Part three. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, many peepees. So many peepees. Oh, so many peepees. You do actually have a lot yeah, of Yeah, I got, so got one, two. I mean, three of the four. Six. Right. <laughs> and essentially, yeah, I'm just talking about this group yeah. because I have 